these objects with nothing more powerful than a pair of binoculars. In this video, I'll show you how to locate one of these objects, a galaxy. You probably know that a galaxy is a massive system of stars, planets, and dust bound together in space by gravity. We live in a galaxy. If you have ever seen the Milky Way on a clear night, you have seen our galaxy. This soft glow is created by billions of stars. We call our galaxy the Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers classify our galaxy as a spiral galaxy. If we could view it from out in space, it might look like this. It turns out that we are not alone. Astronomers have determined that there are billions of other galaxies in the universe. These other galaxies exist at tremendous distances from Earth. To see most of these, you would need a powerful telescope, but there is at least one galaxy close enough to Earth that it can be viewed with nothing more powerful than an ordinary pair of binoculars. This is the Andromeda Galaxy. Astronomers refer to this galaxy as M31. Here's how you find it. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, M31 is ideally located for viewing from August through February. To find this deep space object, you need to be able to find and recognize two constellations, Cassiopeia and Pegasus. Cassiopeia, from Greek mythology, represents Queen Cassiopeia. The constellation forms a distinct asymmetrical W shape with five bright stars. Once you have located Cassiopeia, use these three stars as a pointer. The Andromeda galaxy is located about three pointer lengths away. Browse this area with your binoculars. Andromeda looks like a faint glowing cloud. Another method for locating this galaxy is to use the constellation Pegasus, the flying horse from Greek mythology. The dominant feature of Pegasus is a large square created by four bright stars. Extending from one corner of Pegasus, you will find a double trail of dimmer stars. The Andromeda Galaxy is located beside these two stars in the center. If you focus your binoculars on the first star, move to the next star, and then move the same distance again, M31 should appear, a faint glowing cloud. If you have good viewing conditions with no light pollution, you may be able to see that the glow extends over a large area. I use 8x40 binoculars with a field of view of 7.5 degrees. This is the size that M31 appears in these binoculars. Viewed through a powerful telescope, it looks like this. The key to finding M31 is learning to recognize and find its adjacent constellations. The relative positions of Cassiopeia, Pegasus, and M31 never change, but their position in the sky does, appearing low above the east horizon in late August evenings and slowly moving to the west horizon by January. There are a number of computer programs available to help you locate objects in space. I use Starry Night. Now that we have located M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, let's talk about what we are seeing. Through binoculars, the image is subtle, but how exciting to know that you are looking at a galaxy, billions of stars bound by gravity sitting 2.5 million light years from Earth. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year. This means that the light from M31 that enters your binoculars and ends its journey on the retina of your eye has been traveling through space for two and a half million years. When you look at objects in space, you are not seeing these objects as they are now, but as they were when the light you were receiving left on its journey through space. If you are successful at finding M31, 
The image you are seeing was created two and a half million years ago. When you look into space, you are looking back in time. Powerful telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope are capable of capturing images from the beginning. Images that reach back in time and reveal the evolution of our universe. You don't need a powerful telescope to find and view interesting objects in space. A clear night sky, a pair of binoculars, and being able to recognize some constellations are all you need.